2024 is being known as the year for cicadas and this spring researchers are preparing for parts of the U.S. to see these two different broods of cicadas overlap and the last time this happened was back in 1803. The two types of cicadas known as brood 19 and brood 13 will make their appearance in late April. Which is extremely rare, like hitting the lottery rare. Well, maybe even, maybe not quite that rare. <laughs> the fact that these only occur every 200 years makes this a once in a lifetime event. One is a brood of cicadas that emerges every 13 years. And then the other brood emerges once every um, 17 years. So regardless, they're underground a long time. Um, these cicadas spend most of their lives underground. After making an emergence, their lifespan lasts around a month. Although the lifespan is short, Long says they have many benefits. Think about our forest. If you think about natural systems, um, this is a lot of protein and nutrients for birds, all kinds of animals, squirrels. Everybody's eating them as a kind of a special kind of treat. Um, and then all those nutrients go back into the soil and that helps, you know, um, pro provide some nutrient cycling uh, in the environment. These two specific broods will mainly emerge in Illinois. They're going to get a lot of action like we did back in 2021. And for those here in Indiana? In Indiana, um, we may see a few periodical cicadas. Um, we may see both broods emerge, but really in only a few counties um, in the state. And although the cicada can be loud and disruptive, Long says they're harmless. They can't sting. They can't bite. Um, people's pets eat eat them like crazy. Um, they, they really can't make you sick. They don't have any toxins, but I guess that depends on how many you eat. So if you have a dog or a cat that like goes out there and just gorges them all, they may maybe throw up because they just eat too much at once. Long says if you want to see cicadas in action this spring and summer, they mostly survive in forested areas just like this. Reporting in West Lafayette, Ella Chu, News 18.